Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Taylor Louise Budgets channel. You were here with me for a bonus cash stuffing because I had extra income and I budgeted some of that for savings challenges. So we are going to stuff some savings challenges today with this bonus money. Let's get into it. All right, Amundo, so what do we have here? Let's count it up. We're gonna move the savings challenges actually out of the way for now. But we have 50, 1, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 85, 95, 300 buckaroos. Wow, that feels like a lot. I'm pretty sure I even have more money in here to do another extra savings challenge video. So that is bloody cool. We're finally going to stuff some of these today because I have not had the budget recently for some good savings challenges. So let's get situated. Okie dokie, so we have two binders. We have the budget down under challenge in this one, and then the rest of my savings challenges in my Mo term. Now, in my last savings challenge video, my month of September one, I forgot to stuff the fitty challenge. So we're gonna start there today because I cannot bear to skip it again. So we had $300. Let's see how long I can remember to keep track of the money. But I learned something else about the fitty challenge. Apparently this cheat sheet at the back is meant to be that these are the numbers that I'm meant to color in. But I've just been going like, I've filled in one envelope. I filled in two, three, four envelopes and just been going that way. And I actually quite like it like that. So I might keep doing it wrong <laughs> just so that I can see how many envelopes I've done. So I always know how many more envelopes I have to go. Now I thought I'd do something cool because I have a decent amount of money today. What if I like stuffed one of every number? Would that be, would that be cool? Should I do that? I don't know how much money that'll be. That'll be five, 15, 30, 50, 75. I feel like if I've got $300 of stuff, I can put 75 in here, right? I feel like that would be cool. Cause then if we go five, I can put a fiver in there and we're not gonna count them up. I'm not gonna pull out the money and count them. We're just gonna add in. Cause I feel like that would be kind of the fun thing that I get to do at the end when I finish it. So that's a fiver. And then we have a 10. I'm just obsessed with this challenge. So check out Budget Down Under on Etsy and Instagram because she creates some really cool things. So 10 in there, we've christened that envelope now. I'm gonna go 10 and five in here for 15. So that's $30 total that we've stuffed so far. Then we have 20 in here. There's a little bit more of a shadow today because there was a lot of glare in my last video. So I turned off some of the lights just to turn it down a little bit. So that's $50 total so far. And then we're gonna stuff this last one, which is 25. And this one's coming along nicely. So we'll put the 25 in there. Cool, cool, cool. So that's $75. So we're gonna remember, and we're gonna minus that off that total. So we have 225 left and we've colored in one, two, three, four, five envelopes, which means we can color off five of these envelopes five we're already almost a fifth of the way done with this challenge which it's just so achievable i love that there's so many different options of amounts because it just yeah makes it so that you can pick one that just suits your budget so we haven't abandoned this binder today which means we can keep moving along and jump into my normal savings challenges so this is where I just store the money for my monthly savings challenge videos. But today we get to get a head start on quarter four because this is about to begin. Now, something that I think I would like to do is I always get scared by the fact that I only stuff it once a month, but they're technically weekly, makes it really hard when there's big amounts. So I think what I might do is there is 35 and 35, or I could just do the bonuses. I could either do the 235s, the two big ones. Maybe I'll do both. So I'll do 35 and 35 because those two big ones always come along and scare the bejeebies out of me because they're so large and then we're not going to do because that's already 70 we're not going to do 120 dollars into this one challenge should we just do 70 yeah okay i'll just at least for now we're just going to stuff the 70 which means we can do a 50 and a 20 but yeah i just i don't want to come along and get to one of those weeks and have to stuff like the 25 the 35 and the 10 all in one kind of go because that would be a lot so i like to know that i've got a head start on some of them so 70 dollars in quarter four minus 70 and then we get to start the summer i turn pretty so this is a new one i need to watch season two 
but uh, this is really cool. I love this. And I love that the max number is 15. So I was, what should I do? Do I just like move along in like order? I think I do. I think I do. Do I just do, but I don't want to color the whole thing. I feel like I'm going to do something different. I'm going to go, I'm just going to do a line through it. So five, and then we might do 10 as well. And I'm just going to go up back up the other way. Am I? No, I don't like that. And it doesn't look cute. So I'm just gonna go the diagonal line. I think that looks better. So that's 10 and five, and I might do this $5 bonus and I will color in the heart. So five and 10 and five is $20 going into the summer turn print challenge. Starting that one off strong. Then we have Pepsi Cheers. Now this one, I've been avoiding these 20s like the plague. So I might do, should I do two of them? Or maybe I should use the 50. Yeah, I'm going to do 50 in this one, actually. And I'm going to go two 20s and the last 10. Two 20s and a 10. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to be real tricky. And I'm going to rub off all these 10s. Because that's 40. And then I'm going to color in another two 20s because you've got to make your budget work for you. And I think that makes life so much easier for me having tens that I can stuff in there. So then we've got to double check that I did that correctly. So now in here we have 50, 1, 20, 30, 5, 40. So 140 in there. And we've got 30 and 30 is 60, 80, 100. See, it's not right. 30 and 30 is 60 and 20 is 80 and 20 is 100. And then 20, 40, 60, 80, 90. There should be 190 in here, but there is not. So we're going to add another 10. And we're going to swap out a 10 and two fives for a 20. And that should be 100 and... That's 150. What is going on? Now I feel like I've made it worse. Oh my God, there's another 50 still in here. <laughs> Oh, uh, that's why I was just so off in my counting. Okay, so we know that there's meant to be 190 in here and it's because I didn't pull out all of the money from the actual envelope. So 150, 150, 170, 190. So there's the correct amount all along. I'm just a doofus, but that's okay. At least we're all sorted now. And now it's condensed as well. Um, and we put in $40 in there today, which means we should have 95 left. So... We are on the board game Bonanza, but I think I might skip the board, board game Bonanza for now because we have been working on some of these other challenges for a while and I'd like to see if we can get some head starts through them today. So my little book of savings challenges from Budget with Ira. We get to roll the dice today. We're here. We're going to ignore that tenner up there because that was a mistake. Three. So we should go one, two, three. So we're on 15. So we'll go a 10 and a five and we'll just work our way through and we might come back if we've got spare money at the end to do another one. So 20, 40, 55, 60 in there. So 15 coming off the total. Then we are on budget with IRA volume two, which we're currently working on save Doku. And again, this one's always very stressful to do live on camera. <laughs> so let me just think for a second. Um, I think there's three different types of purple. So there's a light purple. Oh no. This is the trick of like these colors aren't quite matching. So there's like light purple, medium purple and dark purple. But I don't know which one this one is. Because wait, this one's the normal one. So that... Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay, so that's a medium purple. And that's the dark purple. Which means, yeah, I am missing the light purple in this box. Okay. And the light purple is worth one. So I don't really want to do that one. But then it doesn't make sense because that's a light purple there, which means I'm wrong. Oh my gosh, I'm such a doofus. In my last video, I probably had comments about it. But in my last video, I said that the yellow couldn't go there, that it had to go there. And... I put it in the wrong spot. Whoops, it days. Okay, so the light purple is going to go there. <laughs> but I don't know if I want to do that one because then that makes me an odd number. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix that. So we'll hold off on doing that. 
We could put a yellow in here, which would be 20. So I'm going to do that because the 20 scares me because it's so such a big number. And we're going to make sure to put it in the right spot this time. So we're going to confirm yellow, 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 and then yellow, yellow. Cool. Okay. And there's a yellow across there. Wonderful. Okay. So that's $20 that we're going to be putting in here. What else? What else? What else? So we have a medium purple here. This is a dark and this is a light. So this is going to be a medium purple, which is also worth one. That's annoying. Maybe I should just do try and find five ones. Should I have a go? Okay. Because we said this was going to be a light purple. So that's one and that's a light purple. And then what did I just find? So a medium purple. Or we could do a dark purple. So dark purple, dark purple, dark purple. So that's going to be dark purple. Wait, no, that's the medium. Yeah, because that's a dark purple. Oh my gosh. I, it's Again, it's so hard because the colors of the stickers are different to the colors of the that are printed, which is bound to happen because they're different materials. But anyway, so that's one and then one. So that's two. Ay, ay, ay. And then we've got a dark purple going across here and a dark purple going up there, which means this has to be dark purple, which is worth two. So now we're at four. So if we can find one more that's worth one, we can put a $5 note in. So that has to be either the medium or the light purple. So medium purple, medium purple, medium purple, medium purple, which means this has to be medium purple. Okay, I've done it, I've done it, I've done it. So that's gonna go there and then we can put a fiver in and I'm stressed so I need a break, so I'm gonna move on. <laughs> I'm, that is so stressful, but it's also fun. It's It would be so much more fun if I did it off camera to be honest. <laughs> I know Marlene from Snow Gardener 307 used to like, um, like work out where things were going before the video, and that is such a smart move. So we've got 50, 70, 90, 500 dollars in there now. So that's really cool. And we put in, if we minus it off, we put in 25. So that's 55 dollars left to stuff today. And then we have Liz and Les. We have this sticker challenge. And I've been going on this one for a while, and I have a bunch of other ones. So I'm thinking I might do a bunch today because we've got all of these nines and I kind of want to get rid of them. So, because it's always much harder in Australia without dollar notes. So if we go, oops, nine. Da, 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 da. Whoops. Oh no. And 18 and there's no two. So we'll go another nine. So 18. And that's 27. So then if we do a three, we can round that up to 30. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, so we're getting much closer to being finished with this one. And we can go 10, 20, 30. Then minus the 30 off, we should have 25 left. And in this one now, we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 10, and 20. So 120, so a couple of challenges going over that 100 mark today. That's cool. And thanks Liz and Les for the Dino Nug Challenge. And oh, that's all of our challenges. And we've got $25 left. So we might come back to, wait, we have $15 left. I obviously stuffed something up in there, I give up. <laughs> that was going to be perfect. I was gonna stuff a bonus, but uh, what did I do? What did I do? How much money did I have? I thought I had 300. So I had 300, and then I minus off 25, 20, 15, 10, and five from this one. Then I added in 70 to the quarter four challenge, 20 to summer I turned pretty, 40 to Pepsi Cheers. I skipped board game Bonanza. Budget with Ira one, I did, I think it was 15. I did it with Ira too. That was the save Doku. I put in 25. And then I put in 30 to the Dino Nug Challenge. So why do I only have 15 left? Is this does this come back to me trying to fix up the Pepsi Cheers debacle? Was I actually $10 down? I don't know. I'm annoyed about this. <laughs> this is so bothersome. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to Princess Lay's challenge and I'm gonna put a 15 in. So we're gonna stuff 15 into here. We're gonna get my Sharpie and we're gonna do a second one of these. And that smudged a little bit, but that's okay. 
and that means we've done 10 envelopes. So we are officially a fifth of the way through the fitty challenge already. So that is wonderful. That was about $300 all into savings challenges. So that's still bloody cool, despite the fact that I somehow managed to stuff up and lose $10 somewhere along the way. <laughs> but I hope you did enjoy this video. If you did go down below, click like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified every single time I upload. And I'll see you next time. Bye.